All right, let's give this another shot and see what it does. Swap servers again. The roommate is not doing anything that would cause network fuckery. But I'm also not seeing anything going on with Twitch, so I'm not exactly sure what the hell is going on tonight. I'll keep streaming anyways. Uh, if it drops occasionally, it's just hopefully things will stabilize and get better. And if they don't, then, well, I guess we're SOL for the time being. That's just the way it is, you know. Can't really do much about it. Um, I guess worst case scenario, you can always just watch the video on YouTube or on here whenever it does it. But I do hope we don't have a million uh, VODs now that were like two minutes long. I guess we'll see. Only choice now is to uh, move on. I'm assuming Twitch is just being a secret dick. That's the best explanation for it at this point. Emphasis on the secret. Uh, we'll take pliers, because I don't think we have pliers. And we'll just keep making our way through the city. That's all we can do. Uh, if you guys choose to stick with me tonight, I do greatly appreciate it. I'm assuming this stuff is mostly beyond my control at this point, so... All I can do is have fun with it. Oh no, our hard arm guards have dented. That's alright. We dented that guy's face in with our machete. We can always fix this stuff up with our massive multitude of crafting supplies that we've gathered. Let me move a little proper here to a better recording position so I'm not 800 million feet from the mic. So pretty much we just need to head straight east to get to our vehicle. There's a decayed zombie, should be easy. Yeah, two shots, dead. And we're slowly moving up, we're at level 3 melee. We're a third of the way along. There's a shocker zombie, that could be an issue. Well, something just broke a bunch of glass, that sucks, because that makes a bunch of noise. Oh, and we inhaled some toxic gas. Lovely. We're badly poisoned and we're depressed. Uh, so that's gonna fuck with our stats a little bit. Luckily, we can rest a little bit. Just move away from the stuff that really wants to kill us. There's another decayed zombie here. It is dead. So we'll just approach from this way. There's a cube van here that may work. Nope, the engine is faulty. There's a skeletal dog here that we'll bash on just because we don't want him to smash the car and make a ton of noise and alert the neighborhood. Also, we are no longer enjoying our jerky or our fruit leather, and we're still miserable about killing this dude. For what it's worth, he was in like a cowboy hat and a duster and all that garbage, so he kind of deserved it. Here's a low-end cube van. Great. Doesn't have any wheels. It's really low-end if it doesn't have wheels. Oh, we can see a little more of this spot. There's an electronic store in the one square that we didn't explore. Fantastic. Really glad that we spent all of that time. Ugh. Also, there's a bunch of stuff up here, which is a problem. And a shocker zombie to the southeast. Somewhere, maybe? Oh, I was going southwest. Alright, so we should actually probably not try to get that vehicle then, because I don't want to deal with a shocker zombie. Because I'm going to be visible to everybody soon. Because it's daytime. Uh, well, at least now we have the southern view of the town taken care of here. I'm going to try to head down to that antique store if I can get around that shocker zombie. Because antique stores have been known to occasionally have incredibly good items. 
And knock on wood, the stream has not dropped yet. Let's hope it stays that way. Please. I just want to play Cataclysm. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that normally I'd be kind of freaking out about, but I have my Glock, I have my shotgun, I have a good machete. There's just survivor zombie. Survivor zombies suck, but they occasionally have really, really good gear on them. Which is piquing my interest in killing them. So I think we have a Z9 coming at us. Which is fine. It's now dead. Uh, I'm going to cut up its dog harness because we can get a whole bunch of Kevlar out of it. And Kevlar is quite useful for various things. So there's a firefighter zombie to our south. I shouldn't have said anything. I really should not have said anything because, of course, it cuts out the second I mention it. Oh well. Also, you're probably going to start hearing sentence fragments because, uh... I basically told OBS to keep recording after it disconnects, so... Maybe you'll catch me at the end of one sentence at the beginning of another. Is that a glow stick? Yes. Fat lot of good that does me. Feral hunters are kind of bad news. Oh, there's a, there's a shocker brew. We're going to get the fuck out. There's nothing in there that warrants any of this, so we're just going to immediately start running. Yep, we're getting the hell away from that shocker. We're just gonna run. Far, far away. Uh, we might as well head down this road, see what's in these craters, just in case maybe there's, um... I don't know, crashes. Speaking of crashes, there goes the stream. Lovely. gotta be Twitch being a secret dick. There's first aid kits in that bathroom, so I would say let's go for it. There's Z9. It is now dead. We're gonna take its Kevlar again. I'm starting to get cocky here, which is a bad thing. We have hard arm guards already, so we don't really need more. I think we can make the equivalent for the leg. Ooh, we do have a garage here. With really nothing of super interest. Well, let's see what they've got here. Nothing really good. I think of whiskey. Toaster pastries. Food. We will eat this PB and what is PB and M? Peanut butter and maple syrup. Ugh. That doesn't sound great, but it doesn't sound like the worst thing I've eaten. The worst thing I've eaten, by the way, is oysters. Oysters are disgusting. I will never eat oysters ever again. There's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. What is this vehicle over here? That is a huge boomer that's chasing me and I was not even aware of it. Uh, do I have something I can throw at it? You throw pliers at it? Actually... Wait, actually, this isn't the kind of thing that's about to explode if I... Yeah. Um, there's another small town down here, though, which is nice. We can probably check that out. But we gotta deal with this huge boomer. So, actually, I have a gun. So let's use it. 
Um, we'll steady ourselves a little bit. Let it get close. Doesn't really do much. We missed. That's a shame. Steady the gun. Come on, steady the gun. Well, it spews bile. We're covered in glowing goo and bile. Lovely. Uh, let's just get out this sawn off. And just kill it. Not ideal, but nothing we can really do about it. Making a whole bunch of noise. We're probably covered or infected or something. We're glowing and we're boomered. And our hearing is impaired. Let's just chill for like a minute. There. We're fine, I think. We're not glowing anymore. We're not covered in goo. Let's just let's just pretend this little incident never happened. In the meantime, we'll raid these houses down here and see if maybe there's a vehicle or something that we can grab in a slightly safer location. I see a car down here. I see an antlered horror and a corrosive zombie, which sounds like bad news bears. It's corrosive especially, so... Yeah, that sounds terrible. Let's not fuck with that. So you do have just a plain old car here. Uh, it has enough wheels. Its engine's faulty and its battery's fucked, though, so... And it just has a jack in the car. Really not anything I'm super interested in. There's another evac shelter down here, though. And admittedly, I am interested in that. Same with this hazmat zombie. So there's a car here. And it's missing wheels, so never mind. Say it has a decent amount of gas in it. Let's kill this hazmat zombie, though. Let's see what it has on it. It's dead. It has a cash card with a decent amount of cash on it, so we'll take that. I do want to check out this evac shelter, though. Since I'm curious to see if there's anything in it. Let's see, we got a zombear, zombie dogs. Not super worried since I have firearm. Oh, there's a zombie hulk. That I'm worried about. Where is that? That's right there. That's something I'm gonna run the hell away from. So it seems like the zombies have bulked up a little bit. Um, there's a lot of stuff I definitely don't wanna fuck with. I just need better weaponry at this point. There's a gun store, there's two gun stores here. Um, this one is kind of deep in town. But I might be able to get to it since we did go to that bookstore at one point. Alright, so I guess right now let's head back up north, check out those craters. Turn on safe mode as well. Oh, well we got a landmine up here, so let's not... Uh, landmine field, you know, whatever you want to call it. We'll just stay well clear of it. Somewhere there's a dog, which means the game's gonna freak out. Looks like there's a helicopter crash up here. think. Um, but it doesn't look like there's actually much in the way of items. Um, I'm going to make a note of this. Heli crash. There we go. Well, we can dig that out at some point. There's a smoker zombie and a crack fighting where? Up here? No, there's some corpses, though. 
No, that's a crack. Okay. Oh, there's some scrap copper. So where is... This? There's a Kraken and something else fighting somewhere. I don't know where that is, though. Frankly, I don't care currently. Giant bee just kind of chilling. Well, I guess we can go dig up that that wreck. So we've had pretty damn good luck actually dealing with that stuff in the past. We'll just move past all of these horrible creatures here that are just chilling. Make our way back to base. Go from there. I still miserable? I'm very slightly less miserable. 1% less miserable. It's just a random bone that we can... Let's just eat that bone off the ground. It's good for us. Lots of marrow in it. Or something, you know. I suppose I could just spend my whole summer indoors reading and, like, growing vegetables in hopes that, uh, I don't die. Now, if we head north, I know for a fact we're gonna see that shocker zombie. That's what'll. We'll, that's how we know that we're close to home. Scrim Howler, still to the north, that I have not dealt with. Nor do I know if I want to deal with it. Should be pretty easy at this point. Machete kind of rules all, if you ask me. Also, did that, does that chest rig have room for a magazine? Yes, it can hold a large firearm magazine. So can I activate it? Yes. Alright, cool. So I can put a chest rig in, in there. Cool. Is there anything else I can activate? I don't have anything to clip out of the tool belt. Alright, so that frees up... Was that? Oh, it has both Glock mags in it. That's cool. Alright. No, it just has one. I'm dumb and just can't read, apparently. No big deal. I need to stop being so damn miserable so I can... Uh... Was that Grim Howler chasing us? Looks like it. Alright, let's kill this damn beast. Torso encumbrance is fucking me up. Whatever. Butcher that thing. Get some delicious tainted meat that we're not gonna eat. Here's the shocker zombie. Uh, I'm actually going to wield my shotgun and just try to blast it point-blank if it comes at me. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Boy, I jumped there, Jesus. But we killed it. It's dead. We don't have to deal with this damn shocker zombie anymore. Got zapped a little bit, that's alright. You know, there's worse things that can happen. Uh, we'll butcher the corpse, maybe get a CBM out of it. Alright, so we got internal storage and a power storage CBM. Always nice. Freebies, you know. Uh, Alright. Unfortunately, we don't really have the skills at this point to use those CBMs effectively. But that's okay. So we can drop all of our gunk that we picked up. All this random junk. Nope. The perishables go in a separate pile, that's right. That's what we established earlier, was it not? Alright. We'll jam a cartridge into our selling off. Uh, we will eat. What will we eat? Well, let's make 
we probably can't even cook, can we? Because we'll just be miserable. Probably. So where is the recipe for just cooked meat? Here it is. Now they must have nerfed cooked meat. Didn't that have better nutrition in the past? Yeah, too low to craft. So we need to eat like some crap. Or well, let's just drink. Drink some water. Um, there's really not much else to do at this point. So. See if my guy is tired. If he's tired, then we'll just, uh... Well, you know what? I want to grab this, because... Our e-ink PC, because we have some tablets here. Or, no, we don't. We have USB drives, which I think are mostly useless for me. Oh, I was seeing these things. I think those were, um... Memory cards. Those are ID cards. Those are completely different. So these can just fuck off. And we'll take our machete back out. Um, reload our Glock. And grab a few more bullets, because why not? Got two rounds for that, so we're reloaded again. We're in a little bit of pain, no big deal. We could take an aspirin. Oh, we're slaked. We're not completely full, but that's fine. Let's see if my guy wants to sleep. His sleep is good. Can't really. So what the hell do we do with our day? I mean, we could try that hotel again, but there was something up there I remember that I didn't want to fight. and I don't remember what it was at this point, even though it was just a couple days ago. Maybe it's just because I'm miserable? There's such things being so sad you can't sleep. Like, we're just gonna waste a day trying to sleep. Why aren't you tired? Well, whatever. He's slowly getting over the death of this random guy, which is good. Cause I ain't got time to deal with that. So we d oh we can drink the hydrogen peroxide. That's good, or at least consume it. Hopefully that doesn't mean drink it. But what do I know? Um, hmm. Yeah, I do have some. I'm I'm sure I have cough syrup. I could just drink cough syrup. I mean, it's not important that I need to sleep at this point. You know, whatever. Also, welcome to the stream, Economic Hitman. Good username, I approve. Um, let's just eat some mushroom soup. That's kind of tasty, right? There, that fixes that. Uh, can I, I can't. Oh no, I wanted to look up a hoe. Can't make hoe. Garden. Actually, can I till soil with? Just need a tool with digging of one or more, so I don't. I have an entrenching tool. Or yeah, all right. So we'll take that. We can actually take that entrenching tool and the fertilizer, because I know we have fertilizer. It's heavy, but who gives a crap? Take it and the seeds. I don't know why I keep exiting this menu, because I'm continuing to pick up things. Yes. I guess we can just pass some time and start a farm up. It's not going to hurt anything, right? That's why these things exist. That should wear me out, right? So do it right over here. Why am I digging a pit? I need to till soil. God damn it. Fill the pit. Maybe I'm building uh, some kind of skill. I don't know. So this takes time, but whatever. We're planting 
Okay, so that can train construction to one, I guess. Which, we all know I get better at building things when I just jam a shovel into the ground. My seasons are set to 14 days. Um, so, the fertilizer, is that used? Oh, I don't want to eat it, Jesus. I think I can just plant the seeds, so we'll plant some cabbage. And we will fertilize it. Cool. And we'll just keep doing that, because why not? Plant the fruit, because at the very least I can make fruit leather, I believe. All of that takes is just a fire, and we'll have plenty of stuff, so cool. Very rarely do I get to the point in the game where I can comfortably farm, but also we're hungry and thirsty. Luckily, we have plenty of stuff. Man, my guy, he's still getting over killing. It's probably going to take him a while. I realized I probably shouldn't have killed that civilian when the game prompted me to, but he kind of deserved it, so whatever. Uh, we'll plant a whole bunch of cranberries. I'm finally tired. Fertilize all of this. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna set up a base in a shelter and build up stuff, but I actually got lucky early on and I just found a basement, like a survivor basement. And uh, from there, that's essentially where I've been setting up shop. <laughs> All right, so we'll eat some veggie soup, delicious, delicious vegetable soup, and we've got chili con carne, which we will not eat. And we're back, thank god. All I did was eat, now I'm just gonna try to sleep. Hooray. So how's your morale doing? We're still pretty miserable. What a surprise. So we'll just keep eating some more chili con carne. Let's have some sardines. And we'll have some more water. Alright, that takes care of that. We might as well finish our farm. Yeah, 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 dirt and other such things. There's no real harm in uh, wasting our summer doing this, I feel like. Uh, I really don't care about cannabis, in all honesty. But I might plant it just to have it. Might help with, the, you know, if I had some pot, it might help with my mood swing. Well, my mood swings, I say that. I guilt about murder. So plant some lettuce. Fertilize it all. I 
I'm just gonna wait for some zombie to come along and basically just puke all over these craps and ruin them. Speaking of puking all over stuff and having it ruined. Twitch. Why? Why you do this? That would be interesting to make, like, cannabis oil or whatever. Personally, I don't have a use for it, but... There, so all of our seeds are planted, they're fertilized. I don't know how long they'll take to grow. Probably, I think it's a season. I could be wrong. Plant fiber, I don't think I'll need too much. Usually there's other substitutes for that. Guess we'll find out, though. Uh, I'm very hungry, but I think my morale... I think I might be able to... craft at this point. Oh, let's grab these 2x4s. Dump them into the crate. Dump this other stuff. Just having, like, one pile is, is really so nice. Of course, knowing me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the wrong direction for lighting the wood stove, and I'm going to light my entire pile of stuff on fire. That's going to suck. Good. Oh, my meat went rotten. Great. All right. Oh, we'll just dump that. Right there. And we'll see what else we can make. Oh, I can keep going with the uh, deluxe scrambled eggs here. Sure. And we'll just keep, we'll make another one. And we'll use our bacon. There, so we're full and we're slaked. We're almost back to normal as far as morale, because hooray for that, I guess. Um, anything else to do here, actually? I can, no, I didn't mean to open. I wanted to make a holster. I think a Glock 15 that's unmodified would be small enough to hit in an to fit in an ankle holster. Maybe we'll find out. Can I wear that? Can I activate it? Put the Glock in it. Fantastic. All right. And now I can make an ankle ammo pouch with some nearby rags and some nearby sinew, hopefully. Yes. Does not really encumber us further, and I believe we can put that other Glock magazine in there. So there we go, all right. So now we don't really need to worry about carrying uh, all of that Glock stuff, although I'm curious. I don't seem to have a way to store uh, the shotgun ammo, though, which sucks, but I wonder if you can get one of those things that, that you can attach to the stock that would let you uh, uh, clip a few shells into it. Uh, we'll eat some more, and we'll grab, grab ourselves some clean water. Don't really have much left. We need to actually craft some water because apparently we're almost out. And we're, yep, we're almost out here too. So I actually need to, uh,
Let's grab our jerry can of water. And we'll make up some water here. Oh, of course the damn fire goes out in the second I get to it. Bastards. Also just waiting for another NPC to spawn in here and be a complete ass. Clean water. Make 20 clean water. Store it in our canteen. Fill up all of that. We'll do it again. And the rest can go in that gallon jug. So that leaves us with our empty jerry can. We've got 40 more units of water, so we really don't need to worry about that. Food is slightly an issue, though, until that stuff gets grown. That should allow us to actually make a whole bunch of fruit leather and things like granola. So that's fine. So I think I can make granola, right? No, not currently, but I'd have to read my books. No big deal. It might be worth checking out the hotel up here. I know last time I wanted to go up there and there was something in the way that was basically preventing me from wanting to do that. It's probably a shocker brute. Or just a regular shocker zombie. Because those things suck. Yes, it was a shocker brute. But it's kind of way up there. If we keep ourselves relatively quiet. Of course, as I say that, I chop up a zombie. Hello, Omni Malk. Welcome to the stream, buddy. I'll apologize in advance for technical issues. The stream is dropping a whole bunch tonight, and I'm not exactly sure why. Alright, so I'm just going to take a quick look around. There's stuff here, but nothing... You know it would be a fun little trip? Maybe the next day, maybe we can start heading west and check out that refugee center. Could be some pretty dope stuff there. We are going to move away from that brute, though. It's also almost daytime. It's pouring rain. We're, we're miserable. Oh, we're, we're twice as miserable about being wet than we are about killing an innocent. So yay for that. And we're just stuck in the thunderstorm. Maybe it's just in our, our best interest just to go back home and curl up and not die. Another day survived. Assuming the game will let us sleep, of course, although I'd probably just find some cough syrup. Uh, I only've got the non-drowsy kind, because I'm awesome. I could probably learn how to make that, uh... Well, that's good to know. Kind of like my little setup here, but... Okay, cool, I did actually fall asleep. And I went to bed at a slightly reasonable hour, so I still have most of the day here. Anything good to eat? Everything's going rotten. That's fine. Pumpkin's getting old. Yeah, that's true. I'm not worried about it for now, though. So, let's see. Food. Food. And eh, we'll just cook up something. Oh, we're not gonna... Why can't I... Ah, there we go. Alright. 
More two by fours. And we'll make ourselves some more scrambled eggs because we can. Using our bacon and clean water. Nom, delicious. And eat. Where's just the clean water here? I know I made a bunch of it. Where the hell did it go? All right. Well, here it is, apparently. We'll just drink out of our gallon of water. And we'll drop our nails, too. All right, so it's 12.13. Let's go find a path to that refugee center. Hmm. Looks like we have some seedlings already. Um, I think we can fertilize them again. So I'm actually going to do that because that doesn't take much time to do. And we'll just drop the fertilizer outside. God damn, Twitch, what the hell are you doing tonight? There, so we'll just leave the fertilizer out here. We'll grab our cart, because you never know when we'll need it. Also, I've been meaning, I keep forgetting to do it when I'm back at the base. Uh, we need to repair that ANBC suit that we found now that we have a goddamn soldering iron. Uh, Triffids we don't want to fuck with. I've had bad experiences with that kind of stuff. So we've got spiders, it looks like. Can we kill the spiders? Do they have meat? I don't care if we heard crunch. Uh, oh, a zombear. Yeah, let's stop. Let's, uh... Oh no, it ripped our chest rig. We're gonna... Just, ow. Hit me in the head. What a jerk. But we kill the zombie, whatever. <laughs> oh great. Oh, a Triffid Queen. That sounds like something I don't want to fuck with. What is that? It's just a random glass bottle. We'll just move away from all of these things that sound terrible. And we'll just move away, 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 away. Electric car out here. It's a good spot for it. The seat is damaged. That's the and it's lacking wheels, but we can probably poke at these solar panels at some point and those storage batteries. Oh, let's make a note of that actually. What's the P at parking lot? No, sewage treatment. We don't want to go to a sewage treatment plant right now. Somewhere there's a cougar and it's leaping. This is what cougars do. Some spitter zombies. Two spitter zombies. That sucks. And there's some nerds down here. Some low-grade meth. It's one of the gang of drug dealers again. 
Morphine would be kind of nice. That's the good shit. Sleeveless trench coat. Low grade meth. So I feel like we're taking a risk going out this way. There's those damn spitters. Let's just run. Because frankly, I don't want to deal with spitters. Also, I'm going to eat some aspirin. And it seems like we're leaving everything bad behind us. Some dog died somewhere. <laughs> Come on, game. Boy, tonight's just technical difficulties, the stream. It's a wolf. Well, it was a wolf. Come here, wolf. Anyone else? I'll chop up all of these freaking things. Where is this decayed pouncer? Whatever. So we got all the bits and bobs from the wolf. Both wolves. We could deposit them in our shopping cart. Look at all this delicious food that we can potentially use for later. That I'll probably forget about that's gonna rot. Lovely. More meat for the meat gods. There's a gas station up here, though, that I would love to raid. There's a fox and a decayed pouncer fighting. Now we're fighting, but now it's dead. Probably take the bones and do something with it. Maybe. We'll figure it out. A whole bunch of cars here at the gas station. There's a school bus here that actually is in... Seems to be in okay shape. No, the engine's kind of fucked, so never mind. Oh, this isn't one of the fun gas stations. This is like a garbage gas station. Oh, I don't have... Nope, I don't want to deposit money. I only have the one cash card. But we do have a whole bunch of stuff here. In this here. Yeah, I do have a mini fridge in the other town that I can check out at some point that I probably will. Um, I'm not too worried about it for now because I don't have a way to power it currently. I'm assuming that it needs to be powered. You don't just have the mini fridge and suddenly you're good. A whole bunch of crap for sale here. Uh, I will take the pork sticks, actually. Uh, how do I purchase you? Okay, I do that. Um, take the jerky. Chocolate covered pretzels. It's it's junk food, but it's it's nutrition. And I do love me some nutrition. Alright, so now that we've loaded up this vending machine, which is weird, I'm not used to like legitimately buying things from a vending machine. I almost always just say kind of fuck it and for the best. Do I have any containers that I could fill? I do not. Is there anything around me? No. If I had a bottle or something, I'd probably just buy some gas. We've got a toxic waste dump to the north that we're not going to fuck with. Oh boy, I really knew what was going on with Twitch tonight, and hopefully it's not something on my end. I am sorry if it just continually drops like that.
Hopefully it's not making a new VOD each time it does this, because I'm going to have about 400 videos on my page if that's the case. Yeah, I remember doing, you know, quote, vehicle construction, where you can essentially make a mini fridge and attach a solar panel to it. And I was running that kind of setup for a while, and that was pretty sweet. I think I was also doing that for like a recharging rig or something where I would just have it all set up and yeah so it looks like we have a whole other town over here which makes sense I guess you wouldn't want the refugee center just in the middle of nowhere we're heading right towards a zombear not a huge deal but not, not perfect what do we have here home improvement superstore Two cop stations, a salon, a gardening store, a house. I am admittedly glad that I brought my shopping cart. I don't intend completely to move into this place, but it wouldn't be terrible to, to grab my shopping cart and head over here. Probably do in a couple runs if I wanted to set up shop here. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of shit. This is the no. This is the home improvement superstore. That is not the refugee center. We want to head down this road. Got my eye on the mini map here. It's an FBI emergency vehicle here. That has enough wheels. Steerable. The engine is faulty, but got a five seven in the trunk. We'll take that. Sure. What else we got here? A house, a park, a clothing store, and a subway station. Yeah, the shopping cart is kind of universally amazing. I love the shopping cart. Well, the hatchback's battery died. Rip. So we've got some NPCs to our northwest, which doesn't surprise me. It is a refugee center. I mean, I think if I wanted to be really cheap, I could just sit around for a while and read books and get my stats up, and that would just give me a ton of muscle, but... I don't know if I want to. So where's the entrance to this place? Hello, Candace Burris. You're a guard here. Rough out there, isn't it? Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna hurt these guys. This car, I think, works, actually. What's this one? Pickup truck. A faulty engine. A bottle jack. Flatbed truck was totally fucked. Not gonna make too much noise. I mean, if they kill me, then I die. You know. I'm not that well armed. I have a machete and that's about it. Can I come in? You let me in? I am nice man. There's a school bus here. It's kind of fucked. Oh yeah, I do have wandering spawns disabled. That is correct. I mean, at this point, I'd probably turn them on for this guy, but it usually makes starts so hellacious and shitty that I'm just not interested. There's a cop car. Oh, this cop car might work. Its wheel's kind of fucky, but it's got gas, it's got battery. And don't spoil whatever that threat is, because off the top of my head, I don't know what you're talking about. 
So this cop car works. That's cool. Joint roach in this car, in this hippie van. What a surprise. Oh, great. So there's a whole bunch of stuff to the south. Let's just, uh, let's go inside. And we'll just, uh, what is this? That's a utility light. All right. Cool. Let's chalk to Jimmy Kent here. Yep, that's pretty much it. Have fun dealing with that. I gotta go inside, you know, there's a thing, then, you know, the stuff and the things. So, how much would it cost to hire this guy? $8,000 will cover his expenses. I don't have $8,000, I don't think. I don't know how much I have. But, uh, alright, who is this guy anyways? He's a hired hand, he just kinda... chills. Alright, do you have any tips? To fight your way out of an ambush, the only thing that you have going to save you is... having a party that can return fire. Yeah, I suppose just hire a party then. Yeah, alright, you don't have anything more to say than that, do you? Who do we have here? Two guards. Not super concerned about guards at this point. Well, poor guys are still fighting outside. Me. What is utility light though? No description for it, it just kinda is. Storage room here. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with refugee centers. Is there anything I should be looking out for here? Got an arsonist. Heh, I look important. No, I'm, uh... I'm new. Guess that makes two of us, kind of. I don't think we're open, though. Full up as hell. It's almost a crowd downstairs. See the traitor? That's the one to ask. Sucks. Um, not full-on spoilers. I'd, I'd be happy to have some information about this place, but, um, I wouldn't spoil it entirely, no. Anyway, I can join your group. We make ourselves useful. That's a real hazy thing nowadays. Depends who you ask. The merchant definitely doesn't want me here when I'm not selling, but some people get away with it. I see, so there's a merchant somewhere. That's just a guard. Who's this guy down here? More guards. So there are some supplies here, but I do not know if I'm entitled to them. I imagine I can be, because I don't think that functionality is implemented, but at the same time I don't want to just take the stuff and piss him off. And then die for stupid reasons. Because I am hungry and thirsty. Yeah, that guard is, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, that guard is currently hanging out. He's inside the wall, just chilling. Solid rock. That guy, he's being punished because he's an arsonist, so they entombed him in solid rock. So people would not do that ever again. Makes sense to me. Are these windows... Boarded up windows, that's what those are. Okay. Uh, we'll eat some... Jerky. And we'll drink out of our canteen. Yeah. I figured it was some kind of hub for stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anything can, anything in this game can be killed. I might accidentally drink bleach and die, you know? Who knows? 
Got a broker here. Who are you? He oversees the food stocks. There was significant looting during the panic when we first arrived, so most of our food was carried away. Uh, cornmeal, jerky, and fruit wine. Produced in significant quantities and are non-perishable. That's fine. Okay, so he wants some stuff. I have some of that stuff. Yeah, so this guy next to me is the broker. No, that's the guard. The guy up here is the broker. Or, yeah, this guy. Derp. My shopping cart just casually runs into this guy, you know, whatever. I could find a wood stove here. I wouldn't mind moving in here and just settling. Just some place to set a fire. I guess I wouldn't even need a fire, really, for um, maybe heating stuff. But, like, I have the light to craft, which is good. Oh, what does he have for armor? Boots, cargo. He's just got, like, basic stuff. Whatever. So we'll further explore here. Who's this guy? Rude, you're just a guard. You think I can open these crates without having everything piss me? Like, would they get angry if I open those crates? You think? Or should I? Think I can pry them open? Yep. Whatever, we're fine, you know. That's how we learn things, right? Now, that other room had some food and stuff in it. Do you think I'd be able to take that and use it? Goddamn disconnect. Uh, Omni, no, I'm not looking for full spoilers right now. Um, I am wondering, though, can I take the food that was in that other room that was just chilling there and use it? Or would they get mad that I'm taking the supplies? Must this have power? No, it's broken. Oh, cool. Well, if I can take everything, then I'm taking everything. Because I need the food. Oh, hell yeah. There's just a toolbox here that I didn't even see. Uh, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Dump that right in the shopping cart. And wherever our arsonist friend went, he's now gone. And he moved over here. Here is Zoe Meek, the uh, the merchant. Say anything else? We're full. A few days ago, an outbreak due to letting in too many new refugees. We do desperately need supplies and are willing to trade what we can for it. A top dollar for jerky. I literally just ate a bag of jerky. God damn it. Uh, so what are you doing here? Started off with six buses full of office workers and soccer moms. After the refugee outbreak a day or two ago, the more courageous ones in our party ended up dead. Fair enough. A lot of text here. Guards in the basement have orders to shoot on sight if you so as much peep your head in the lower levels. I don't care. Oh, well that's not nice. So I guess I can't go into the basement, or should not go into the basement. Uh, is there any way I can join the group? So it's, nope. Yeah. 
I could uh, do something to change their mind, wink, but I could pull my own weight. Fine. Can I do anything for the center then? Because I want a mission and I want to see what. I have one job for you. Want to hear about it? Tell me about it. If you really want to lend a hand, we could use your help clearing out the dead in the back bay. Alright, so they dumped a bunch of bodies back there. Alright, so they want us to kill a bunch of zombies. Cool. Uh, I was, can you share any equipment? Why would you share your equipment with me? Well then, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm helping you out. You know, give me, give me something, right? Fuck no, that clear. Go fuck yourself. Fucking pump. Fucking wow. Okay, Jesus Christ. Like, all right. Sorry, man. <laughs> Please be careful. We don't mean deaths. You fucking fucker. Do you have any advice? A friend who should help you. That yeah, that's great. Sounds good. Thanks. But um, yeah, this guy's an ass. So the back bay, which is sealed up, apparently that would be back here, is it not? Wasn't I just in here, actually? Yeah. Can I activate this? Is this the sealed bay in the back that they were talking about? Take your thread, by the way. There's a light jacket that we don't really need. Apparently we didn't get anything from enjoying meat jerky from the looks of it. No morale boost otherwise. Fine. Also, we are warm, but whatever. Who's this guy? This guy with just a gun. How much would it cost to hire you? Eight grand, meh. I don't have eight grand. I have a cash card with $682 on it. I don't think that's gonna get me too far. So did that guy like die miserably out here? There's a survivor zombie. He did die, that's a shame. Do you have anything of use? Not really, you know? He had some heroines. Ooh, there's some bullets there. That will be useful. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Well, that could have ended horribly. You know, friendly fire and stuff. That's cool. You know, that's that's all right. Jesus. Didn't even have anything good, just had some kind of garbage makeshift knife. Well, somebody forgot to close the door. Wasn't me, though. Hint. Wink. But I guess we're not going outside for a minute. Hum da dum da dum. Alright, let's wait. Let's wait another five minutes. Let's wait half an hour. This gas is just kinda chilling here. Alright. Let's just, uh, yeah. Oh, I bet this is the bay that they were talking about, wasn't it? Yeah, I bet that's the sealed off area. So how do I get in there? That's the question. 
How stupid would it have been to die to die just from getting mowed down by all these refugees? Like I'm safe, just kidding. Alright, we'll take his heroin, we'll take his gemoglobulin shot, we'll take these bullets. Is there anything else of interest out here? It does not look like it. Take the wrench, because why not? Um, am I filtering? I'm filtering out clothing. DIY compendium. Uh, there's no one else to really talk to for now. Let's take these guys' casings, because whatever. Okay, I can't trade with any of these guys, unfortunately. Is this guy anything I can do for you? Talk to a merchant if you have anything to sell. Old guard liaison might have something if you can find him. Who are the old guard? That's our nickname. They're what's left of the federal government. Don't know how legit they are, but they're named after some military unit that once protected the president. Their liaison is usually hanging around here somewhere. Alright, so I can have a look around and find another guy if I wanted to. Cool. Oh, we'll take more bullet casings, sure. Uh, where did I drop my shopping cart? Up here. Um, so these metal doors... I can't pry them open. And I don't think I can smash them open. How do I get these doors open? Can I pick them? No. Somehow, maybe I have to go in from the outside? Kinda don't want to, but... Yeah, see, it's not gonna damage the door. And that's a solid rock wall, so that's not gonna get taken care of. And I don't want to use something dumb like a explosive. I have a stupid idea. Stupid ideas are the best kind of ideas. So is this the sealed off? No. Sounds like this might be the area. Yeah. Oh, well that's a problem. We're fine. We're fine. It's cool. We're okay. First things first, we're gonna take some codeine. Oh, was that actually the whole mission was just to kill that one guy? Because if that was it, then awesome. Let's just go back. Mission accomplished, guys. Uh, who was it that assigned? It was it was Zoe, was it not? I killed it. Ooh, another job, eh? How about you give me some stuff for payment? You don't really have anything that I want, so... Yeah, thanks, I guess. 
Uh, is there anything more you need me to do, pal? All right, he's got another job for me. We're, you know, we're a little tired from getting shot, but we nailed that guy. It's a bit more involved than the last request. We lost, recently lost a scavenger party coming to trade with us and would like you to investigate. We suspect a raider band or a horde caught them off guard. I can give you coordinates of their last radio message, but little else. Deal with the threat so the scavengers continue to pass through in relative safety. Alright, yeah, I'll do it. So where were they? This is target 54. Oh, fuck that. Like, that's a hell of a long distance away. Also, what is this T? Fungal flowers. That doesn't sound good. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere near that without a gas mask. Am I still... Yeah, slow down, pal. And eat... Eat some chocolate-covered pretzels. There, you're fine. So you're not even in pain anymore. These doors open now. Can we go through them? No. So do I just have like $500 in like magic money on me somewhere? Like... Yeah, this guard's fine. Not, not damaged at all. That's cool. Fungal flowers sound like bad news bears. 100%. Not something I want to deal with one bit. But I... At the same time, I'm kind of curious as to where the heck... These quest chains wind up. Wait for this zombie here. Chop it up into little itty bitty pieces. This zombie just kind of makes a big fucking mess. Nothing of interest. Well, we can at least check out this room. be a bunch of worthless clothing. There's a tough zombie here. Turn him into tough chunks. Swimmer zombie. Destroyed. Take their cash card. Why not? Busted a bunch of stuff here. Looks like this was a bathroom. This is probably also a bathroom, right? No. Little supply store here. This door is locked. We pick it. This one does not want to open, it looks like. Oh, hey, buddy. We could have just gone in through that way. I see how it is. I am stupid. Alright, cool. So there's really nothing of interest here for us. From the looks of it. Bunch of scrap water faucet, actually. No, well, we can just smash a sink to get that if I was to make like a tank of water in the future. So I'm not super concerned about that. What time is it? It's 8.41 p.m. We're not hungry or thirsty, thank God, but we're not in super great shape either. We are slightly injured. Bunch of crap to the south. I kind of want to check out the Home Improvement Superstore, though. There could be some great stuff. Because going south right now, I feel like would be a pretty bad idea. If I got myself a gas mask, then I think I'd be more comfortable going around those fungal flowers. There's a rattlesnake. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I'm tired, though, is the thing. I think 
keep these bones as a backup food source. Dump all this stuff in. Did I reload my shotgun? No, I didn't. Let's do that, because that's important. Scarred zombie. Zombie Hulk, never mind. We're not going to the superstore. Nope, 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 nope. Don't need to deal with that. What is this? Just a random muffler. Don't need it. And I would love to sleep indoors, but I'm just not sleepy, I don't think. I wish there was a way to gauge how sleepy you were. Besides the whole tired thing. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but kind of dumb is my game. Uh, I will raid this house really quick for food. Take the Chardonnay, why not? You never know. Uh, we take the Lawn Darts. Those could be useful. They do a good amount of damage. I can throw them. The Lemon, even though it is rotten, I can make fruit leather with. There's nothing of interest there. Cell phone I can take apart for electronic components. There's a basement here. Small plastic bottle. There's some regular cough syrup, which we will take. Uh, we'll take these bandages. Let's check out this basement. Turn on our torch. It's another grow room. We don't need anything in the grow room, so we're going to head out. Don't need anything at the subway station. There, at least for now we've got a decent supply of food and water. There's a grappler zombie here. Let's grapple him. Pulled me right in, but we run faster with the knife and we completely wreck him. Because we have a freaking machete. What kind of car is this? That's a fire engine. There's a screech. I've never heard seen a screecher zombie. Is that like a buffed up shrieker zombie? Cause that, yeah, it is. It's screeching. It's shrieking. Yeah. Ooh, it dazed me. Well, we dazed it with our machete, so even better. There's a survivor zombie here. Um, dang it, it's ripping up our chest rig. We must have it on the outside, which is foolish. But we kill it. It had a sten for some reason. Also, chest rig must be on the outside. Yeah, that needs to be... Let's move that stuff in and put the things that should be on the outside. Yeah, let's do that. Jeepers. Is there a belt? A firefighter belt? No, there's not, unfortunately. There's a firefighter helmet, but meh. The rest of this stuff don't think we particularly need. Well, since it's getting spooky nighttime and we are near this nice friendly refugee hideout, I think that's where we're going to chill for the night. So hopefully they'll keep me somewhat safe. Uh, I 
don't think I have a sewing kit on me, do I? No. Dang. Um, can I cook anything? Not really. I don't really need to cook anything, though. I have plenty of stuff to eat. Um, but we'll eat some spam. For some reason, we don't enjoy spam, which I don't get. Spam is freaking delicious. Um, can we sleep? Not really. It's probably because it's so bright. That's fine. Well, for some reason, this guy had computer science 301 and a, some ammonia and other lovely supplies here. I don't know why he's chilling in here. Is there, is there any way to trade with you? I don't think so. Can I sort his armor? No. Whatever. Fine. Uh. So we need to drink. Let's take a glug from our canteen. Is there any way to turn these off? Oh, I for the longest time I was trying to figure out what the hell a utility light looked like. Like, on like what is this tile supposed to represent? Is it something on the ceiling? But no, it's like one of those stand lights. I understand now. I make a... Yeah, what do I need to make a blindfold? I would need a bandana, and what do I need to make a bandana? Probably rags, right? Bandana. If I had a sewing kit, which I don't... Can I make a sewing kit? No. No, I have one back at base, unfortunately. Can I make a bone needle? Can I reload it with... Do I have sinew? Did I pick up sinew? Yes. So from that, can I make a... Yeah, alright. So... Damn it, of course there's no leather pants. Now cut up the light jacket. Alright. And from that, make a... Oh, I can make a wrist bandolier. That's actually really cool. But it does not hold a shotgun. I can make a shotgun bandolier. If I had leather patches. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I feel like I should make that. What's my current torso? Eh, that would probably put me another point of a torso encumbrance, though, which is not what we want to do. So we'll make ourselves a bandana. And from that, we will make a blindfold. Let's wear the blindfold. Can't see anything. Go sleep. Let's sleep. But we'll just sit here trying to sleep until we can't sleep anymore. Or, you know, you know what I mean. Good use of my time. Alright, well, it's just not going to work. So, blindfold comes off. And when I get back to base, I'll have to make that bandolier, because that sounds pretty awesome. The rest of this stuff we will dispose of properly. Um. Oh, I have cough syrup. I should just drink the cough syrup. What am I doing? Uh, where is it?
There we go. So we wake up, we're mostly healed up, it's 4 p.m. So not great, but not terrible. Everything has gone rotten, but whatever. We still have some scrambled eggs that we can eat. So there, we're full, we are slaked, we're not in any pain. Our right arm is still a little bit bled, but our morale has returned, thankfully. Uh, I would say our logical step would be to head south. And I think it's obvious that the zombies are beefing up and getting stronger as time goes on here. I bet you my plants are not growing too since it's outside of the little bubble that, that they're in. That's going to be a long hike to the south. And... Hmm, I don't know if it's one on one I don't think it's one that I want to do tonight, in all honesty. Um... To be perfectly frank, with all the technical issues and stuff going on tonight, I don't know if I want to keep streaming. Um, it's just put a little bit of a blay in my mood for doing this if it's just going to break up for you guys and it's just going to be a pain in the ass to work with everything else. So I think I'm just going to pause the stream here for the night, guys. Um, it's probably just better off that way if it's just going to keep acting up and that way if it does it again, I'll know that it's something on my end and not Twitch's because... Um, it's just, that's, it's really freaking annoying and, you know, I'm still new to streaming, but I'd still rather you guys have better quality stuff than someone that's just fumbling around going, what the hell, it keeps dropping, so, um, I'll make it up to you guys, I might just do a quick stream tomorrow to, uh, to fill in the gap, if I can at least get my guy to the south here, because that is a hike, that is a ways to go, but hopefully it'll just be a matter of going down this road and we don't run into a city or something between now and then. But yeah, you know, I'll do what's fun. And right now, I don't know if I'm necessarily feeling it. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this stream. I will be back with more Cataclysm at some point in the future. You can always find more information on my Facebook and my Twitter, and you can find other random videos on YouTube if you're interested. So hopefully these issues will resolve themselves. Won't be an issue next time. We'll get a little pep in our step and we'll find out what the hell is waiting for us at the last location of these scavengers. Hopefully not a zombie brute. So. <laughs> so. So as Twitch just connects me one more time, you guys have yourself a fantastic night and thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next stream.